friends welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will see how to use google trends to see the demand patterns that exist for every niche this is simply the best way to see how demand for products in the niche varies over the course of a year the url you need to go to is trends.google.com let us now see what kind of demand pattern you should expect if you are going to build a site selling golf balls. You type golf balls into this text box at the top of the screen and push enter. While looking up information on trends on any topic, you want to make sure you select United States from this drop down as it's the US market your affiliate sites will most likely be targeting. What we are now seeing is historical demand over the past years. While the graph does not tell you how many searches per month the phrase golf balls as in Google, it does show you the trends. We will get to that part later. You can change the time period for which trends are displayed from this drop down. You can see the demand reaches its peak in summer and then falls during the winter months before peaking again in December and then falls steeply until the next summer. This is kind of what you would expect. Now let's try to see what the pattern is like for Callaway Golf Ball which is a very popular brand of golf balls also. Let's check the demand pattern for 2019. You can see the demand pattern is virtually identical to what we found for the niche golf balls in the beginning if you were to build a site about golf balls you would expect to make the most sales in the summer months around june and july then sales would fall during the winter months sales would rise again during late November and early December which is the period here you can see in the graph you could also be sure of one thing your site will be making sales all around the year there is no discontinuity or break in this graph so golf balls sells all year around but the demand is more in the summer months and during December so sales will be at their maximum during these three or four months in a year but you will have sales all year along you can see the same is true for nike golf ball as well if we search here nike golf balls you can see the same pattern now let's check what the graph looks like for golf clubs you can see the pattern is very similar to golf balls the demand is maximum during the summer months and much lower rest of the year the thing you would want to know is that the demand for golf clubs does not peak in December it actually seems very low in December I don't know uh, about anything about golf. If you are someone who knows the niche inside out, you would be able to tell why this occurs. Now let's take a look at something entirely different. Raincoats. And this is what the pattern will look like for 2019 as we have already selected as you can see demand exists throughout the year but it peaks in late September and early October 
and stays high for the rest of the year. This is the five year trend for diamond rings. Demand peaks during late November and stays high in December and then falls steeply in July. See the graph here. It peaks again just before Valentine's Day and then falls, but it has fallen steeply during 2020. The demand was at its all time low in April 2020. For gold certificates, if we search in the text box for gold certificates, we will see that the demand for gold certificate exists throughout the year. If you had an affiliate site selling gold certificates or something related to gold certificates, you could expect to see a steady stream of sales throughout the year. Now, as we have seen that diamond jewelry and gold certificates are mostly sold throughout the year now let's look at the kitchen faucets the demand for kitchen faucets exists throughout the year but come december the demand shoots up and stays that way till early january the demand has been especially high throughout 2020 except for this dip in the third week of March 2020. Likewise, the demand for Kitchen Island is more or less constant for the entire year as you can see and then increases very significantly during late December and early January. The pattern is very similar for Kitchen Knives the only difference is the demand starts increasing significantly in late November and stays high for the rest of the year. The graph for the next item if we search here the graph for hair dye is kind of very interesting. As we write here die and press enter. This is the demand pattern for 2019. If we select the 2019 year from the drop down menu. So let's see. The demand is high for most of the year. But there is a surprising drop in mid November and it stays low until late December. The only guess I have is this that during late November and early December people are so caught up in preparing for Christmas, booking air tickets, buying presents and all that and they have no time to think about dyeing their hair. But when it's actually time to meet the relatives, the rush to buy hair dye which is why the demand increases so significantly just before Christmas. This might not be true but this is the only explanation I can think of and this is the trend for the past 15 years if we select the 15 years we will see the trend for the last 15 years which will give us the rough idea that what the demand looks like for the longer period in this same niche. The demand for hair dye hit an all time high in April 2020. Now the graph for bathing suit is just what you would expect. The demand is very low in early spring then it starts increasing. In March 
then it's nose dive during april i think the college have their exams at this time and most people have no time to think about bathing suits and vacations etc the demand reaches its maximum in summer months and then starts to fall steeply in winter no one is interested in wearing these kind of suits and going to beaches now take a look at the graph for prom dresses demand is high during the months of january and april and falls steeply after that it's very low for the rest of the year and starts rising again during late december if you had a side selling prom dresses that made a thousand dollars a month in april you would be very lucky if you made two hundred dollars in june now let's now see the graph of halloween costumes the demand for halloween costumes exists only during late august to october for about i guess for about if you calculate the 11 weeks if you had a niche site that sold only halloween costumes and nothing else it would make money only during 11 weeks of the year for the rest of the year it would have near zero revenues now that is not necessarily a bad thing there are a lot of people who build sites that generate revenues only for a few weeks in a year all i am saying is this should not be a surprise for you if you are going into a niche like this a niche that is seasonal you should do so while being fully aware that your site will be generating revenues only for a few weeks or months during the year this should not come as a surprise to you if you have taken the time to study the demand patterns for the niche before you build the site you will know what the graph looks like and what you can expect then there will be no surprises and you will be fully aware similarly demand for easter eggs exists only during march and april for the rest of the year demand is very low by now you should have a very good understanding of why you need to check if the niche is seasonal or not thanks for watching and keep supporting my channel